Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics, They're Bad For You, the name of my YouTube channel. Or, if you're watching this on BitChute, my BitChute channel is Comic Freak. Well, the SJWs are back again and they're attacking Jave Chappelle in his latest stand-up comedy special on Netflix. The special's name is Sticks and Stones, and this is a good name for how we're going to be talking about how uh, everyone's coming out to fling sticks and stones at Dave Chappelle. The, let's see. The comedian doubles down on misogyny and transphobia in both the special and the hidden bonus scene that follows. Oh, you know this is going to be a good treat of an article, isn't it? I'm sorry, Dave, but you already know this. The SJWs will stop at nothing until we live in a communist utopia, and we gotta do our best to fight it. The article begins with, Dave Chappelle made a return to Netflix Monday with a new stand-up special, Sticks and Stones. Fans quickly realize that if you watch until the very end, the special has a secret epilogue called The Punchline, where Chappelle answers questions from audience members who went to his separate Dave Chappelle show on Broadway stand-up show last July. The special takes the comic's anti-wokeness stick to a new level, and the whole thing is a repetitive and exhausting enough that it's a slog to even make it to the Q&A. Now, as I understand it, people actually like who actually like Dave Chappelle and his comedy actually thought it was great. At least that's the feeling I get from hearing people talk about it. At least that's what the quirking he seemed to enjoy it. But then again, what do you expect from the writer of this article, who's clearly against Dave Chappelle? I guess if you're completely against SJW politics and not making fun of them, then I guess Dave Chappelle would be your enemy. And you have to say this, where do you get off? It's only comedy. Reading further, Chappelle's controversial 2017 Netflix special, like The Age of Spin, Dave Chappelle Live at, at the Hollywood Palladium, and Equanimity, and The Bird Revelation, horned his voice as a comedian weary of progressive criticism. That voice is even sharper in his latest special. At one point in his routine, he says he doesn't believe Michael Jackson molested young children. He continues by saying that if Jackson did molest those children, they should be proud. And that's a funny joke, even if it is a pedophilia joke. And he also goes back to his now infamous obsession with making fun of trans people. The writer continues to berate the reader with his SJW agenda. Dave Chappelle continues with, as you can see, I can't say that word, this time those jokes include asking the audience how funny it would be if he was actually a Chinese person and stuck inside a black man's body, which you guessed it also included a racist impression of a Chinese person. Tie his hands, why don't ya? Jeez, he's only trying to make you laugh. By the time of the Q&A plays at the end of the special, Chappelle has already shown his unapologetic approach to courting controversy. His answers put that into even starker view. This guy continues to say that. A white woman left one of his practice sets for the special at the Prince Line Comedy Club in San Francisco, telling him, I'm sorry I was raped, and he says to her, it's not, it's not your fault you were raped, but it's not my fault either. Ta-ta, bitch. And yeah. He just wants to make people laugh, and he makes people laugh by, by well, courting controversy and saying, well, radical and extre extremist things, at least to the, what the SJWs think about him. So he made fun of rape, and this woman got all high and mighty on him and left while crying. He was right to uh, heckle her out of the room because he's just only trying to make someone laugh. Not, maybe not her, but anyone else who would find it funny. Notably, one of the people who laughed the hardest was a trans woman, and a, the writer continues with, Chappelle has been a daredevil comedian, willing to take controversial stances or downplay a serious controversy for laughs. Well, yes, he's trying to make people laugh. And he will make people laugh, unlike people like you who just go around making other people miserable. Now, if you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed, because YouTube is going around and subscribing people so make sure you are subscribed if you're watching my videos but you have not subscribed just subscribe to me subscribe to me on my YouTube 
channel, read comics, they're bad for you. Then go over to BitChute and subscribe to my BitChute channel, Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications. Hit that like button and leave some comments down below. And could you also please share this video, share it on Twitter or share it on Facebook, share it anywhere you would think it would do the most good because YouTube is also not promoting their creators anymore. So it would really help me if you would please share this video. And remember, keep checking back in future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book, Scum Dogs. I'm Chris Williams, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.